The election is over. It's time to get on with the rest of our lives, and that includes dating, right? So he's smart, funny, she's charming, successful. So what if he's a Democrat and she's a Republican? James Carville and Mary Matlin, they make it work, so why can't anybody else? Well, joining me to discuss the new era of bipartisan dating is Barbie Adler, president of the matchmaking service, Selective Search. And Barbie, is it possible to find love across party lines, or, or is there no possibility of compromise? It really depends on how politically active you are. For some, they will not cross the party line, and for others, you could agree to disagree, but it really comes down to your core values and your beliefs. For some, you're preconditioned in terms of what your belief system is, and you, it would be a deal breaker, and there's no way that you would ever consider going red or going blue. You know, it's interesting because everybody says, well, opposites attract, but every now and again, opposites also get on each other's nerves and drive each other apart, right? Opposites attract for the short term, but long-term compatibility, the more that you have in common with your mate, the more chances that you're going to have a long-lasting, happy relationship and marriage. Okay, so you are a very selective matchmaker. This past election was fierce. Uh, what kind of political requests were you seeing? Were people actually saying, you know, single female Democrat looking for a Republican male? Well, people come to Selective Search because they're looking to find something very special. They're selective. So we treat someone's political um, requests the same way we deal any other search criteria. And it's, but it was a very fiery election, this year more than ever. So what we do is make sure that we honor people's requests, we respect it, and we work the whole entire search around it and everything's customized. And people come to us because they're looking for to find mm. lo the love of their life and not just a date. You know, so, so for example, you know, how, can it, how can it work? I mean, what are the two things? If, if you're going to set up a Democrat with a Republican or a Republican with a Democrat, you know, do you just avoid political conversations? Sure. What I would recommend is first, you have to listen to each other, communicate, and have res respect, and ask questions. I disagree with avoiding it. I think sometimes some people are, have more in common than they realize, and if, you, if, it, if they don't, then it's more important to talk about it before you're investing time into the relationship. But yeah. also have a sense of humor. Sometimes stimulating conversation is the key to a happy marriage. So, and that could also lead into um, the bedroom and romance and make it fun, make bets and talk about it. Or agree that you're not going to talk about it um, all the time. And, and the other thing is if you have nothing else to fight about, it could be that one thing, um, and that's what really works for Mary and James and their relationship, is they don't really have any other things to fight about. That's their one thing, and they're also having fun at being at odds with each other. Right. So or you have to determine publicly, if that's something publicly that you they don't have anything, anything else to fight about. But, but let me, in terms of, look, every, if, you, if, you, if a Democrat marries a Republican, I mean, what you're looking there with James Carlin and Mary Matlin, those are two people who canceled out one another's vote when election time came. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, are, I think what's most important... Yeah. Is, is, is really just having a sense of humor about it if you're already married to someone and really just like anything else communicating listening and again agreeing to disagree but if you can if you're if you're not married is really making sure that you want to understand what's important to you and honoring that um, so that you could really have a long-lasting relationship and also bottom line it's it's respecting the others person the other person's opinion all right Barbie Adler thank you so much we appreciate yes. your joining us today thanks well, for having me Learning does not have to take place in a classroom. More students are studying online, and that's creating a learning revolution.